there, just Olivia, continuing my creative process playlist. And in the previous video, I did these studies and um, I already drew like roughly over my pictures. Like you can see like here, I created a very like basic collage, did some like I drew over the pictures and I kind of uh, and added some notes. So I, you kind of know where I'm going, but to make the idea clearer for you, so you don't just go on the mannequin or you buy lots of fabric and then you kind of get to a point where you kind of don't know how to turn this into a final garment. I said that this is the point where drawing comes in very handy. Like it is a, like think of drawing, not that you have to be good at drawing in order to be a good designer, just think that it is a useful tool. I was going to try and for example, come here, draw, make some like, like construction studies and draw what does I see that this trouser could be. But the thing is, I hate drawing on the computer. Like even if I have this, I think this makes my life easier. But when it comes to drawing, I don't like screens. I don't like uh, the iPad. I tried, I did not adapt. What I, I'm very old school. I like doing these templates and drawing over them. And if I need to do a few more studies, I start drawing like around them. So yeah, I kind of have to go back and think how I want to um, move on to, to this part because I think up until now, you can be very like um, instantaneous. No, it can be very spontaneous. Jesus Christ. <laughs> instantaneous. Okay. Up until now, you can be very spontaneous with your studies because you're kind of like just experimenting and playing around and um, this is the part where you have to sit down and be more like careful and study every single detail because just like this even if the shape like if you blur your eyes the shape's kind of interesting no no it's looking like a, a mexican sombrero uh, like even if the shape is kind of interesting or even this one, even if it's almost trousers, there's a still a lot missing. So this is the part where you have to like sit down and become really obsessive about every detail of this before you can like start making a pattern or make a technical drawing. And, uh, yeah, so this part will have to be to think a little bit more careful how I can make a tutorial about this. So this week I think the best that I can do is share this new way that I'm doing my templates because I think it's a lot easier and I'm not adding a lot of like shading so and I think it, it, it makes it makes it better like because for example if you see here like here is um, I still kept the socks and like some long sleeves, it kind of gets in the way. And this, whereas this one was just like the outline. If I come here with like a, with a marker, yeah. So if you come here with with a marker, now you can barely see the leg, or you can see the leg just enough, so you know this is very like uh, very wide leg. Uh, yeah. Um, the way that I've been doing these new templates is like. I'll get a picture that I like. I like this collection by uh, by Miu Miu because this one it's got like it's got an attitude that I really enjoy. Uh, like it's a little bit more relaxed. Okay, I'll turn this into black and white, and really see like if I go, I can play with the settings. And uh, I'm sorry that is in Brazilian Portuguese. I cannot change the language. So if you come here and play with the settings. If you go too much here, she looks black face and we don't want that here. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, so you can play with the settings a little bit and uh, turn this into a layer, create another layer so you can go and draw over it. Here you can see, you can't see her hands. I'm gonna go and erase this. Here you can put just 
a hint of a hand. And same with this one. This side has a glove, so her finger would, wouldn't be as long as the glove. Then. The legs, you already know her leg wouldn't be like that, like that thick. Like there are things that you can look for so you can know more or less of the knees here. So I um, can kind of do this to indicate that the knee is going to be here. So her calves would be more or less here. And then a little bit of the heel would be here. And then, oh, no, this foot looks weird. And uh, this leg behind, this hip belly button would be around here. So I just need an indication. And I think this part here is a little bit funny. I did not draw this in a different layer. That was fucking stupid. I a white background so I can see what's happening. Here it's looking kind of funny. So I'd get the hands maybe coming here. I want breasts, but you can decide. I usually don't find them super important for the kind of stuff that I want to do. Maybe you just need to go and add this thing here. Four. And then, okay, you have kind of a body. You can replicate it, mirror it, so have like some variations. Yeah, don't forget to add the face because the face makes a lot of difference to make things more believable. So here we're going to go and erase most of the stuff. You can go delete some of it. Oh, okay. Here I made the, like, the selection a little bit blurry. Instead of being like zero, you can go and put like three to five and then Instead of being a clear cut, you be like you get like kind of a blur. So you can study here. I can have just enough shading. And uh, here I think you can add a little bit more of her hair. And so I'm thinking it would be like parted in the, the middle and uh, maybe just a little bit here. And I think it's going to be nicer if she had a little here happening. This is kind of enough. Maybe you feel like you need redo her face or not. I'm going to see when you print out what happens. You don't need too much on these templates because they're just for studies for now. You're just going to draw and draw and draw and draw and draw loads of different variations or studies of rough ideas that you developed at this stage. Then here Maybe you can try to draw a little bit more of her hair or you just leave it as is because then if you go and um, for example, if you leave it kind of like a bald head, you can kind of create like different hairstyles. Like maybe on one you'll have like her with lo very long and flowy hair. This is looking terrible on the screen. Maybe one you will create just like a, a ball. Maybe we can add some long things here. Her ear will be sticking out on one of them. Maybe it will be covered in another. So then you can do variations on, on the hair once, you, um, once you're drawing each um, look. So this is how I've been doing my templates. If you think the black one is too dark, you can always come here and change the opacity and then you can make it very, very, very light and subtle. And if you're making it very light and subtle, you can use this as a base for fashion illustrations if you want to make something like in full color. Yeah, this is how I have been doing these templates. I really like templates because it makes like once you have a, a like a real person, something that looks like a real person, everything else starts to uh, look more real and more believable. 
Yeah, you have a, a better idea of what the proportions are that you need to recreate instead of something like like my collage from this project that everyone knows already. Like this is very hard to to assess, but yeah, this is the part where you have to go and figure out what comes naturally to you and uh, yes i uh, will see you next week and i i'm still not sure how i'm gonna end this playlist because uh, yeah creative process is like you gotta go and um, at the beginning it's hard because you just have to keep trying and trying and trying and making a lot of I don't want to call them mistakes. You, you, you make a lot of stuff until you finally realize what it is that works for you. And once you do, then everything else becomes easier and more enjoyable. Yeah, hopefully you guys got something out of this video and I will see you next week with something a little bit more structured. So till then, bye.